what we're talking about here is is a layered causality. You know, uh, a, one traffic crash is not just as it's not the you know caused by one driver's behavior, you know, their lack of personal responsibility. We're talking about layers of systems, the design of the car, the design of the road, when that road was designed, the speed limit on that road, the age of both the cars that crash, the wealth of the drivers in those cars, which will dictate the technology that's, you know, the safety technology in those cars based, you know, because NHTSA isn't regulating that technology in. Um, and, you know, that even leaves out, you know, weather conditions, for example, um, or what's going on in those two people's lives as they're, they're driving down the road. And so all of these factors matter. Um, and the thing I try to encourage and, you know, that I see a little bit of hope in is that ac- so-called accidental death is not cancer. It's not COVID. We know how to solve it. There's also so much you can do locally. If you can transition from a blame mindset, a punishment mindset, a mindset that says we're going to educate the drivers out of their bad behavior and one that focuses on harm reduction, um, that looks at the road and the vehicles that travel on it as uh, potential harms that we can mitigate, um, that we can mitigate by controlling their speed, by controlling their likelihood of impact, um, by separating the dangerous energy of vehicles from fragile human bones in space and time on the road. And I think, you know, people listening, your audience probably knows a million ways we can do this, but it really does require saying, um, when people die on the roads, I want to know how I can reduce the harm of crashes. Um, You know, when I see an unsafe street, I want to know how I can reduce the harm of it. Not how I can get angry at that one driver who seems to be driving so fast, because when it comes down to it, the environment is begetting that behavior, you know? Um, and if we're focusing on how angry we are at that driver, we're never gonna solve the problem. Something I also like to say is um, that I don't say the word accident in my normal day-to-day life, um, but a conclusion I came to after spending 300 pages on the word um, is while I don't think anyone should say the word accident, What's more important is that you hear the word accident as an alarm and that that alarm makes you ask questions and ask them out loud. Um, You know, was it really an accident? How was it an accident? Why would you call it as an accident? Could it happen again? What are we doing to prevent it from happening again? And I think if we can hear the word accident and respond rather than with word policing, but with those questions, we can start to bring people along to manifest actual change.